we did some research with uh, African American students and Somali students who were looking at what, what is the black experience at these institutions and how does it affect them. Uh, Professor Greer is a psychologist and she was looking at this particular type of uh, uh, literature, it's called racial microaggressions. And the way that the easiest for, way for me to describe it is like receiving a thousand paper cuts over time. These minuscule, like very small little things that people of color are often exposed to. For example, asking a, a black person if they know how to cook fried chicken very well. And um, I uh, transferred out of PSTL and went to CLA and got into the MacArthur program through ICGC. And I was funded for two years to work on similar project, but um, Professor Greer's uh, conceptualization of framework that she was using is different from what I was using. Um, I looked at it from a sociological perspective, if you could say. I examined that first summer with the, the ICGC money. Um, the experiences of Somali um, students at historically white universities, and particularly how that affects Muslim students. And there was similar kind of correlation between what I had done with Europe and now this other funding. But we really found out that post 9-11, the experience of Muslim people, particularly the students that were interviewed in Manhattan, had a very difficult time. Um, it was very scary for them to do. And from there, I, um, following some, I went to South Africa to uh, do a comparative study, again, <laughs> using the same uh, methodology, but comparing the African American experience to the black American experience, or to black South Africans. We'll look at the Facebook discussions, which is fascinating. Um, so what we did for a year is we looked at how Hmong, Latino, and Mexican, and some uh, Mexican, Hmong, and Somali youth uh, discuss uh, about on Facebook, you know, different type of themes that they, that we looked at were uh, issues of like integration, language, um, particularly for um, Somali, no, actually for all groups you can say that, that language is a big issue in terms of identity formation. Um, from the IHRC project, uh, the Minnesota 2.0 came in archive. And uh, from that summer on, um, the following year, this past summer, I did some research with the Institute for Global Studies. And that project just focused specifically on on the Muslim experience in Europe. So this whole time I was kind of looking at the US and South Africa, now I'm looking at like Europe. And it didn't necessarily have to do with being at uh, you know historically white universities, it was just trying to conceptualize that whole experience. Decided that it would be interesting instead of reading the Facebook discussions of Somali youth to actually go out and interview Somali youth. So we uh, talked to Donna Kabachi and Donna thought it was a brilliant idea and we were supported with the IHRC the first semester. Um, there was no funding involved, so we just took credits as a way of um, showing our work. And we, the three undergrads um, that are involved, it's called the Sheko Project. And uh, Sheko means stories in Somali. So um, we we're interested, I guess, uh, in uh, doing oral histories with Somali youth and not just looking at specific kind of things like coming to the U.S. or if they experience discrimination or, um, you know, we just want to understand how their lives as individuals here in the U.S., uh, what has it meant for them.